A disturbing new development with now shuttered sterogenics plant in western in the western suburbs. Five school teachers and a counselor are now suing, blaming their illness on the sterilizing plant. It's a story that Dave Savini and the CBS2 investigators, they've been covering it all year. He's introduced us to several people who've gotten seriously ill, including children who live nearby. And tonight, Anna Warner has the stories of suburban educators looking for answers. Your doctors have told you that they can't cure you. It is not curable. Margaret Eskiard Manis is talking about her terminal blood cancer. I'm going to see next Christmas. Erd Manis is one of five women who all worked at Hinsdale South High School and all later developed cancer. Will you just give me a hand raise of who has breast cancer? Okay, and your cancer? Is Waldenstrom's a form of lymphoma. The reason for their cancers? They say a nearby plant they never even knew was there. For over 30 years, company Sterogenics sterilized medical equipment in this building using a gas called ethylene oxide, a chemical known to cause cancer. Unknown to residents, the plant released thousands of pounds of that invisible gas into the surrounding neighborhoods for decades. Former teacher Peg Valdek. So many of us taught with our windows wide open in the spring, in the fall. She and former educators Erd Manis, Rose Kepler, Carol Tufo, and Jeannie DeBrock all say... Had you ever heard of ethylene oxide? No. no. What they did notice over the years, they say, was the number of their former colleagues who also came down with cancer. There were five in the wing that I worked in. In my department, there's six, six of us. And we used to talk about don't drink the water. Right. We did that like for that. years, yeah. Because we, we, you know, we needed a reason, a reason for why people were sick. Ethylene oxide is used in medical sterilizing plants and chemical plants around the country. I am as mad as can be. Is that why you're speaking out? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I'm worried about the people that do not know. They need to know your health is at risk. And Sterogenics maintains that it is not responsible for causing anyone's illness, calling the lawsuits, quote, unfounded and meritless claims. Its Willowbrook plant has since shut down. Dave's reporting led to the passing of a new law in memory of Matt Haller, who died of stomach cancer, an illness that he blamed on Sterogenics. The Matt Haller Act requires facilities to limit emissions of ethylene oxide by 99.9%. To see all of Dave's previous reporting that led to the change in law, go to cbschicago.com slash Sterogenics.